official land. You will receive our most sacred body. Begins now. When day breaks, you too will join our covenant to share in my holy blessing forever. Condor One to Roost. Do you read me? Condor One? You've been radio silent for three hours. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Won't let it happen again. And the church? I'm still looking for whatever key I need. Copy that. I'm glad you're okay. Roost out. Hey everyone, it's Brickcomma13. We're back with more Let's Play Resident Evil 4 Remake. We're up to chapter four, and we are past Del Lago. We're at the lake. Now we got to find that church key. Hey, here's your boy's hat. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's get it going here. Uh, this part is greatly expanded from the original version, where you you travel along the lake or <clears throat> in the boat after you beat Del Lago in the original. But in this part, it is like, or in this version, I should say. Uh, it is much more open. You can see there's more places to visit, actually. <clears throat> and uh, it, this is actually a pretty long section, so this might get split into two episodes for Chapter 4. Some of the middle chapters are pretty long. Here I am constantly checking the map, because that's what I do in every Resident Evil game. Our first encounter with the bladed tentacle, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Plagueis. Of course, after you um, kill certain enemies, sometimes they will transform into that little thing we got going on there. Um, in the original game, like a dude just walks up in front of you in this kind of same area and just poof, his head explodes and it comes out. They did a good job kind of doing it with like kind of off screen there. Um, I don't think it is in the uh, this remake, but in the original, uh, you could tell someone was going to transform because they had like orange eyes. Uh, I think they took that out in this one, so it's, there's less of a tell of when uh, an enemy was is going to keep living after you blow their head off. What is this place? Some kind of shrine. And here's our extremely elaborate key <clears throat> that we need to open that church door and get Baby Eagle. It's the lake. Thanks. Um, but I haven't really looked at the files or anything in the game. They're, the files in this game are not like they are in like the original. <clears throat> Um, or the the more traditional RE games, so I've been kind of ignoring them. Um, sorry for anyone who's watching and might 
want to read the files, but they're honestly just not that interesting in this one. What we got here? Egg hunt. Fetch me a rare gold chicken egg. All right. Which a gold egg is full health, so that sucks that they they want us to get rid of that. <clears throat> So let's see, where do we need to go? So we need to go here and here. And again, in the original game, this is this is completely new, basically, like all this like section here. Um, let's head this way first. By the way, these barrels here money yeah, I guess we're right here might as well <laughs> uh, no we still do not have a small key oh this is um not really a shortcut but uh, the merchant is up here We've been here before, but uh, when you drop down, the boat is not here, so there's nothing you can do. Took yeah, we've been here before. Quest, did ya? <laughs> I can tell by the look on your face. A job well done deserves payment in kind. I got something new for you. Six spindles. I still need to get the Matilda stock. We like our herbs, we do. Heal a man, kill a man. They do it all. <laughs> Good work, if I do say so myself. Anything Don't think we have anything to sell, really. Uh, empty pipe, couple red velvet. Oh, we need to sell these vipers to do a uh, mission. Need. How have we procured these curiosities? <laughs> you don't want to know, mate. Sixty thousand for that, then we can get the. Molding a weapon to suit your specific needs. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. You don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that's uh, locked. <clears throat> Excuse me, that locked uh, drawer I just looked at. Oh, funny. Who just leaves a hundred bucks, like, sitting in a barrel and s sends it on a lake? Who does it? I don't remember if there's anything at the end of this or not. Oh, yeah, this little area right here. We finally have the way shrine key, so we can use that. The splendid bangle. And we actually shot this treasure down uh, in a previous section. So there we go with that. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little bit of <clears throat> crap in my throat. And that goes all the way back around there. Oh crap. <laughs> I went the wrong way. Ooh. No! Every Peseta counts. While we're out here, I guess we can go ahead and check out... There's actually a couple treasures on this, like, sunk boat that Diplologo tried to wreck us into.
Hogs and rights. And what do we got here? Gold bar. Um, and the original, <clears throat> your first playthrough, the red nine is in this, uh, is in that chest. So, as we established in the very first section, uh, we do not get, we don't, we don't get to double back on weapons, which again was a major uh, source of income in the original version of the game. All right, so let's go back down here. My first time through here, this section took me a long time to finish because it's kind of, it's a little maze-like. And they force you to go the long way. Buddy. Hmm. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, come on, dude, you're on fire. Again, dude, you're on fire, please. We'll deal with him in a minute.
<clears throat> I thought there was one more guy up here. There he is. I, this guy must have blown himself up. <laughs> Not bad, right? Oof. So we have this puzzle here, <clears throat> where you have to press in these three shapes, and they are... Huh. They're painted on the walls. Uh, this took me a second to figure out. <laughs> but if we go down here, we can see... We got the, the butt cheek shape, I guess. <clears throat> and let's see... We got the hourglass with the Q. And right here we got like a circle. <clears throat> so let's see. Circle, butt cheek, hourglass with the Q. <clears throat> Ugh. We got the apostate's head. It could have been the Mandalorian's helmet. He was an apostate. <clears throat> what a crossover. Um, I mentioned earlier in the game that the uh, flashbangs are OP in this game. It was true in the original as well. That's why. It can instant kill um, exposed Plagas. Alright, so we cleared that out. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's check out this little section here. And then we will head uh, up into the next section we need to go to. <clears throat> Again, sorry. Oh, wait, the big fish. We don't have it yet, but there's a mission to get this guy. Got him. Oh, crap. <laughs> Look at all the grenades we have. Holy shit. Let's see. We'll put him right there. We need to... We need to do some organization here. Uh, let's make some ammo. Shotgun shells. I'll take those. Move our flashbangs down here. Jeez, we got a lot of healing stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, the Lunker Bass, uh, we need that for a <clears throat> mission thingy later. Uh, da -da -da -da. Is there anything we can make right now? No.
we should really just like sell some of those grenades. I've barely, I don't, have I used one at all in this playthrough? I don't know. Oh, let's go over here real quick. To the little chicken island. <laughs> We just watch one lay an egg, chicken egg, brown egg. <clears throat> um, my first time playing through here, I got the give me a gold egg um, assignment, and I came over here and there was this one laying here, of course. Oh, there we go. Boom. Brown egg. Put it over here with our healing items. And then we'll put this up here for safekeeping. <laughs> there actually is a, um, there's a charm for the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, for the attache case. It's a chicken, and, uh, when you have it equipped, you get 100%. Oh, shit, treasure. You get a uh, hundred percent more health recovery from eggs. <laughs> uh, treasure. Oh, it's just in here, I think. Yeah. Here we go. Red velvet. Uh, or velvet blue. Excuse me. Red velvet. Uh, cake. And let's see. Yeah, that's where we want to go. Okay. Shoo. So again, we have, we have another uh, another puzzle. Or it's just hey, press the pictures. There's a treasure here somewhere. There it is. I feel like they reused this area from the original game. Uh, this is where a uh, merchant was um, when you come through here in the original. Is there, yeah, there's two treasures in here. But anyway, we have very squiggly like some snakes, I guess. I always associate the pictures <laughs> with something I know. Uh, also remember them a little bit better. And here we have like a a Zia Lee sword, if anyone watches WWE, and a snake around a pole. And then we got three. Uh, hourglasses or two hourglasses and a Q. And let's see, where's this other treasure at? Right there. Oh, we come up through there when we open the door, I think. All right, let's see here. Uh, three squiggly lines. Xylee sword and a snake, and then two hourglasses and a cube. Got it. The blasphemer's head. Oh god, that that puzzle. Ugh. To be fair, I did this section much faster than on my first playthrough, but because I've done it before. And let's see, we got what we need. Now we gotta go get that key.
anyway, we kind of got to do right here. Uh, how y'all doing? Y'all played the game yet? You like it? You hate it? Prefer the original? Uh, let me know. All right, let's first stop here. I don't know if it matters which one you put where. I guess not. Um, can I take it back out? No. Um, first time I did this, I just selected them as they were. <laughs> the key to the church. Copy that. Now go get Baby Eagle. Right. No time to chat. I'm going in. Condor one out. Oh, I do not want to go this way. Now, before we do that, Leon's like, we gotta go see what this other hexagon piece does. Oof! Imagine if this is how the real world worked. Like, he's trying to save the president's daughter. Very... Pretty, pretty important person. You know, president's daughter, I guess. But, um, instead, Leon's like, okay, I'm gonna go do that, but first I got this, uh, I gotta do solve this slider puzzle. <laughs> uh, which is completely uh, irrelevant to the, to the mission. We don't even have to come back here. But, anyway, this is gonna take me, like, eight hours. Alright, put the piece in. Now we gotta, we got these three sections. It's like playing Hexic HD. Where we need to line everything up. And I'm... I, th this took me forever. The first time I did this. Um, so it will probably take me forever again. I feel like I just looked into it. Because you can only... I mean, see, look. like The picture's just... It's correct, but it's not correct. Um, it's like... In Leon's world, he just put the piece there. So, like, Leon, why not just pick them up and put them in the right place? But, see, I will always get two-thirds of it right, and then the other, um, the other one's wrong. So, wait, no, I don't want to do that. Put this up here. Because you have to, like, pivot them the right way. And like I said, I'll always get, like, most of it right, and then something will be messed up. Uh, feel free to check, check amongst yourselves. <laughs> Go get something to eat. I don't know. Because this is going to take me forever.
me, I'm always like, oh, I'll get like everything right except for like one or two pieces. Hmm. Because the only transfer point is the middle piece. So to get something to move somewhere else, you have to pass it through the middle. And let's see. We need this piece over here. Get it out of that. This piece needs to be down here. That piece needs to be down here. That piece needs to be up here. This needs to go over here. That needs to go over here. Bam! <clears throat> Depraved idol. <laughs> no time to chat. Let me go do this. Be picking off some fish for some free heels. <clears throat> so let's see. Looks like we gotta go. No, that's that little section from before. Oh, we need to go back through the quarry. But before we do that, I guess let's check out the Lakeside Settlement here. I don't remember if you need to go through there or not. The you know, Scott Kennedy leaves no stone unturned in his investigation. Oh yeah, this is where Luis is. McNair. I guess all these treasures get added after you have come through here the first time. Because they're definitely not here before. Yeah, journal. Cats meowing at me.
Yeah, this is where the guy's like throwing dynamite at us and stuff. Whoops. What the? <clears throat> ah, here we go. We could not open this door before. Nope, see, there's a gigantic fish. We already have it. Ooh, spinel, we have enough for the Matilda stock. <clears throat> oh, hello. Ooh, hey, Smokey. <clears throat> I think, I guess the small keys are like really easy to miss because <clears throat> I feel like I never had a chance to get all the treasures my first time through. And then we can clear out this section of the map. Hey, what the? Who just has a gold bar in a drawer? <laughs> <clears throat> This is one cool thing about the remake. Um, I think I might have mentioned this before. But it does a good job of making this... Really the whole game world feel connected. In the original, like, things were very um, sectioned off. Um, but, like, it's... It's not open world, obviously, but it... Makes, just makes it feel like the world's more connected, if that makes sense. 
Uh, rifle ammo here. <clears throat> Check this out. <laughs> Welcome. Well then, what can I do you for? I'll buy almost anything. Put them a lot of money. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fine work. <laughs> well done. You've proven yourself reliable. Got a selection of good things on sale. This will give you a three round rapid fire capability. <laughs> Although it uses up ammo rather quickly. I like how it's a verbatim what he said in the original. I guess we'll save up to get the. <clears throat> these other attache cases just to kind of round those out. That is the game's way of telling you, hey, you're about to get out of this section. Um, you can't go back. So they, that was cool that they did, they did that for you. Oh, let's um, combine some treasures. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't know what to do for me. <laughs> now I gotta redo my whole case. <sighs> well, let's sell him some freaking grenades. <laughs> some auto sort I do still have to buy a Magnum. Um, I didn't. I never bought it because I thought you'd get a free one. <laughs> um, in the original, um, you can get the Broken Butterfly for free um, if you backtrack to a certain section of the castle uh, with Ashley with you. Um, and I was like, oh, they'll probably do that again. And unless I miss it, that is not the case. Unless I missed it, I should say. All right, that's looking a little better. Mm -hmm. 
I just hate having this like narrow section right here. And same thing kind of happens no matter what I do. Let's put the magnum ammo up there for now, I guess. All right, there we go. Let's see. I would think it went the wrong way. Yeah, I'm supposed to be going the other way. I love how instead of just looking around, I bring up the map. Butterfly lamp. Come here, big boy. Ooh. My phone is ringing. I don't know if you can hear it or not. <laughs> Alright, let's actually fight. I how they get the dog giving you even more badass insurance. Really made up for the fact that people thought he was dead. I thought I was supposed to melee it when he, the rocks fell on him.
See, I look around for the dog. Is it? It looks like he gets smashed. But he. Oh, there he is. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so we get Ashley. We're not locked out of this area completely yet, I don't think. So we still have to go through the uh, the village and stuff. Graham. I'm here to help. So coming up on an hour here, I might have to cut it short because of my recording time. Let me go ahead and they made this puzzle much harder in this <laughs> this version of the game, by the way. Not sure what uh, Los Luminados deal with uh, primary colors is, but let's see, we're almost lined up. There we go. Ashley. 
Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. Easy with that. My name's Leon. I'm hearing the president's orders. Oh, we just made it. <laughs> uh, all right, so real quick, that's it for this episode. Uh, I will catch you next time.